In this presentation, I'm going to show you how to install OpenLink's single-tier Express Edition drivers for Firebird databases. I'll be working on a Mac OS X client operating system. Before I begin the install, I do want to point out that it's a good idea to have your evaluation or permanent license key somewhere on your Mac system. This will enable you to use our installer's browse feature to pick up and implement the license during the install process. This renders your driver ready for use as soon as the install completes. If you choose to obtain a license post-installation, use of the product will be delayed until that license is in place. That said, let's begin the install procedure. Double-click the disk image file that contains the product installer. Here you see my disk image is mvl6efrb.dmg. Your installer should have an identical or highly similar name. This DMG will produce a meta package or .mpkg file. Double click that. A splash screen will come up. Click the continue button. This is the README. We recommend that you read it over, then click Continue. This is the license agreement. We recommend that you read it over as well. Provided that you agree with the terms of this agreement, click Continue in the Agree button that follows. Choose the destination volume for your driver. Click Continue. This Change Install Location button allows you to override the default installation directory and install to a new location. We recommend that you go with the default if you are new to the product. Click Install. Installation does require administrative privileges on your box, so provide your administrative username and password. Click OK. Give the product some time to install. The actual installation portion of the procedure is complete, however, we still need to license the product. I'm going to close out of this installer dialog. Note that the supplementary license dialog can pop under other elements on your desktop, so you may need to close out a few things. This is the license dialog. This dialog presents you with three options. You can use the later button to forgo product licensing until a later date if you do not currently have an evaluation or a permanent license key but you still want to license the product now click the try or buy button this will launch the OpenLink website in a browser there you'll be able to obtain the license that you need if you already have a license just click use existing license over here and browse your Mac OS 10 system for it Note that if you're not sure whether or not you have the correct file, the license dialog always provides the name of the license that it's looking for. This installer here is looking for ee underscore frb underscore lt dot lic. And you can see that license over here on the left on my desktop. Since I already have this license, I'm going to click the use existing license button. Now I simply browse for the license to indicate its location, so we know that it's on my desktop. There it is. Click Choose. The product is now installed, licensed, and ready for use. This concludes this lesson.